Central Lakes College hosted its first powwow since 1990. Powwows are a Native American dish tradition to bring people together to join in dancing, singing, and the celebration of their culture. Our Chelsea Brown has more in this week's Northwoods Adventure. As the drums played and the singing began, the dancers were welcomed by a grand entry to begin the powwow hosted at CLC. We had a great community turnout and lots of pride, lots of excitement. And for people living around the Brainerd Lakes area, um, there's that sense of accomplishment and a sense of we've got a place in this community, we've got a place here at Central Lakes College, and that's what changes lives for our community. Betty Sam, a Central Lakes alum, helped organize CLC's last powwow, which was 25 years ago. It's really nice to get for everyone to get to know what we do as a Ojibwe people and Native Americans, understand our culture and our traditions. Powwow is a celebration. A celebration of, of, of life, actually. A variety of songs were played while dancers performed their intertribal dances, inviting crowd members to join. But we, we deserve to give ourselves a pat on the back once in a while. And I felt this would be that pat on the back, not just for Native kids, but for all, all students who come here. The intertribal dance is for everybody. That's why they call it intertribals. And, and you know, to share that with, with non-Native and Native people from other cultures and it's just you know real heartfelt. The event was to honor Native American Heritage Month and to showcase the Minnesota Humanities Center's Why Treaties Matter exhibit. Treaties have been a huge thing in the Native American culture in, in retaining our rights, our, uh, our rights for hunting, fishing, gathering, you know, how we live, how we practice our, our religions. Treaties aren't from long ago. Treaties are still alive and well. Uh, we don't educate our children, K-12, not sometimes in, in college either, about the value of, of history, uh, what treaties are, what sovereignty is, what self-governance is, and how that impacts all of our lives today. The event hopes to promote the college's mission to educate on Native American traditions and continue the powwow for future years to come. In Brainerd, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.